Alright, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a look at Yellow and Yancey. This game is designed by Rainer Kanincia, and this is digital adaptation is published by Dire Wolf Digital. In this game, we're going to go ahead and play against two AI bots that will be uneasy, so it's a three-player game. And you know if I get my butt kicked that I need to learn to play this game a little better. So in this game it's going to be a tile laying game and in the game you're going to place your leaders out which is three or uh, five different colors of leaders and you can place tiles out. When you place a tile out you're going to get a uh, point for every tile that you place out and if you built place three in a little uh, which I figured that would happen um, three in a little area here then you'll build a pagoda and a pagoda will give you plus one points every turn these black are hard because they're very valuable uh, so a lot of people will sort of like leech onto them I'm gonna go ahead and help protect my little guy there because the more around him the more powerful he is and uh, build my pagoda and if people just don't jump in all in the same area I might throw someone down, but I might also go somewhere completely different just to, uh, yeah, see they're protecting the area. And the reason that's happening is because in the game, we'll just go over the basic first part is the at the end of the game, your score is going to be the lowest number that you have in any of these four categories here. Not including the gold. The gold works a little differently. The gold, what that does is it will... I won't go through a guy over here. Uh, the gold will help raise the value of your lowest stuff. So that will help out at the end. But in the end, whatever one numbers your lowest is your final score. So everyone throughout the game is placing these tiles down. And you can place them anywhere you want. And trying to collect points with the different colors with the different colored leaders. So far right now, there's going to be two pagodas that gain points every turn is going to be the black and the green one. The green one belongs to the opponent. It doesn't matter a whole ton uh, if someone gets a lot of points in one color because again it's the lowest color that matters. So you're just being, you're just looking out to see if someone is collecting a lot of you know, across the board and trying to stop them. And that gold pagoda is, is like the holy grail of this game. You're trying to get that, but also prevent other people from being able to use it, which gets into secondary powers of the tiles. So there's two different ways that you can combat in this game. One is going to be a revolt, where you're going to place your leader in an area where, the, where a leader already exists. In that place, you're going to use these black tiles, and the higher number wins. And if you connect two areas, you're going to do a war, and then you're going to use the red tiles to determine that war. There's a little bit more into that because you can burn your own little, um, your own little uh, red tiles that are already placed down based on the differences. So I like this blue area because you're going to be able to build blue pagoda there. I don't know if it's worth fighting at this point, and I sort of start wanting to capitalize on whatever the heck this guy's doing and start thinking about building my own little red pagoda to start gaining some points. And this game is definitely all about making a oh, war already. What has he got? Four to my one, two. Oh, we can actually beat him. Yeah, I'll teach him. I'll burn all this junk. Yeah, he. <laughs> yeah, so that was an example of a war. Uh, and you notice that his areas got destroyed. So. The other things you can do is you can use two, oh man, that's fine. You can use two black tiles, uh, you can, or two blue tiles to destroy uh, something, and you can use let's see, he used a lot of black tiles, so I, th oh dang it. If you tie, you only have to tie to win. So, he tied. I didn't think that he would uh, have that. Hmm. Well, this is a nice area for blue, so whatever. And, 
I'll be, be back for a little bit. Now blue tiles are cool because not only do they help remove, two blue tiles will help remove an area, um, but you can also, when you play a blue tile, let you play a second blue tile, which is nice. Uh, so I got some points for that. I should put him out. Uh, I don't think I'm going to just repeatedly be able to... This, he's a pretty strong, so... I'm going to probably give it to him. Say, you win, dear sir, this round. You win. And build my little thingy over here next turn. Optimally, I want all these to be gaining points every round. Um, if I get them gaining points every round, then that'll be great. Right now, I only have... My highest score is two. Also, the game will end when we run out of tiles. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, build my little pagoda. His only purpose is to give me some of those points. And be done. Then I'll build my red pagoda next turn. Probably, unless I see someone come out here where I can take advantage of them. The other thing, too, is I don't really want people making a gold pagoda. So, I might throw something over here. Just to be like, yeah, now you can't build a gold pagoda easily. So I think we will do that. So it gave a point to him, but now it made it much harder for this person to actually get that gold pagoda finished. question is, do I want to do it again? The other option is I can think about building up for a revolt and taking that from him. Which I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Because I'm going to do two pagodas here, but I'm going to look at collecting these blacks up a little bit in preparation for that. So I'll shed anything that's not that for now. This would be a really good place to take that over, too. Hmm, I lost my green. Which is fine. Okay, we'll place this guy here. This guy's also trying to make a gold pagoda. Alright. Let's... Is there any war here at all? Yeah, let's connect them. All right. All right, that's pretty good. Someone build a gold pagoda. Let's do this thing. Ah, meanie. I don't know if I was ready for war now. Hopefully my buddy helps me out. Does he help me out? Oh, of course he won't. Of course he won't. Why won't you help me out? Oh, that's horrible. That disconnected the area. Yeah, I didn't think they would do that. That caused, like, mass destruction. And now I have two of my people back. Huh. Yeah. Let's... Let's do this. You could throw my I could throw my black leader in there and I will throw in two of those for now. Excellent. And now I have my gold pagoda. So now with that my um, low score is gonna be eight. Because I can add some of the gold on there. I need to bring this red and the blue up. Um, before this end of the game will be very advantageous. So let's see if I can... Oh, dang it. All right, so we got to do something about that. I swear, I wish I had blue tiles. So he has a two. I have three. Uh, where's my green? He's over there. Let's... 
take down these guys. Ugh, can't get another black, can I? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We'll get another green. Alright, so we're going to let him go for a turn, which I didn't want to do, but I want more black to be able to take him out. Oh, he connected it. Excellent. So now I'm on an even footing and I can attack him from here. I'll throw that green tile out to try to get more. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll close the gap here. Oh, yes. All right. So we are moving our gold leader over here. And we're doing a roll. And I still have him. And I uh, don't want to lose this. So we're going to go ahead and do six, which is probably more than plenty. All right, now I have the Gold Pagoda online. Ah. Oh, that is not great. Uh, but I do have my Red Leader, which is helpful. And I will throw these two in because I need to. And he didn't have any... I don't even know why he did that. That made no sense whatsoever. Please don't throw someone over there. Oh, of course he's going to. <sighs> See, it's not worth it yet. I'm going to say done. Yes. And let him have it. And then I'm going to take it way up here, which is, like, really weird. Or... Yeah, I'll just keep getting green. Oh, my gosh. Well, we got a plan. So basically what we're going to do is going to nestle my little gold guy here. And next turn I'm going to take away that pagoda. But again, I have to remember that I'm, I'm not doing great with red. And we're down to 18 of these. So the game's ending pretty quick. So I want to get this gold online and I want to do deal with my red. Uh, and get that up. So, first thing first, let's go ahead and take the pagoda away. Second thing, let's go ahead and try to steal this blue. Oh, dang it. Oh, no, it was good. I, I'm, I'm at foot six. I don't think he's going to be able to take it. He's definitely going to lose it. Um, yeah, done. Now I actually have two blue online, which is really great. I am still not doing great with red. So I need to bring that up. That way, this gold pagoda is actually helpful. And I don't care about green for the rest of the game because it's already a 19. Alright, so I can't bring up red without a revolt. And I'm actually pretty good for a revolt, so let's go. Whoops. My bad. Is that the best spot? Yeah, we'll just do it here because it looks cool. All right, we're going to put the black armor in. We're going to go ahead and throw some red in, black in. The more that I use these, the better, because that'll end the game faster. And I am looking pretty good, actually, right now. Yeah, we control a lot here. I don't gain on these blue, but that's okay. And I'm doing okay with red. Let's go ahead and pop another gold in for me. And I don't know if it's going to make it to my turn. Oh, my. This might end it right here. I don't think my buddy's going to help. Of course it didn't. That's okay. My blue's at 12. My red's really the problem. 
Oh my. Will it make it to me? Well, this will be the last turn. Nope, didn't make it to me. I didn't think it would. Alright, so this is going to be the final score. I'm going to go ahead and apply my golds. Ooh, I just barely won. So, I do highly, highly recommend this game. It is really, really good. I love Yellow and Yancey, and the digital adaptation of this game is amazing. They did a really good job. The AI is great. I'm just playing easy, and the AI is great. Uh, you can also play normal and hard. This, I love the physical version of the game. I love the digital version of the game. I'm probably going to play the digital version of the game a little bit more often because it's just easy to jump on and play. You can jump on with friends. We're going to do a two-player version of this game in the future uh, with my brother. So I look forward to that. But if you like Yellow Ansi or you like abstract strategy games, I highly recommend to checking out the digital adaptation of Yellow and Yancey. And that's my thoughts on it. And that was our playthrough. So thank you for watching.